When I started beekeeping a little over 40 years ago, things were just beautiful. In the last 20 years or so, things have become a lot more drastic. So this is a great call to reverse our attitude and our ways of working with nature. Spikenard Honeybee Sanctuary is an absolutely special place on Earth. It's so easy to fall completely in love with this place. You know, you have this incredible setting and, uh, and then these incredible creatures that you get to work with every day during the beekeeping courses. Being here is not just immersing yourself in nature and being rejuvenated by it. It's also a partnership with nature. This is an effort to try to focus more on nurturing and caring for each other, which is the most important priority. We're not going to make it as a society if we don't. It was created out of this vision that the honeybees need a place to regain their strength. For the last seven years, we've created a biodynamic farm that is thriving and growing at a beautiful rate up to the precipice of this new bee barn. The new barn at Spikenard will allow us to teach throughout the cycle of the entire year and to reach many more people in both our local community and also the global community. And we have received wonderful gifts to create the outer structure of the bee barn that you see behind me there. Now we need to go and finish the inside, the floor and the ceiling and the furniture and so on. And for that, we really need your help. This bee barn is really the next step for the sanctuary that we can expand our educational offerings in a way that is needed. The honeybee needs an advocate and the honeybee needs more and more people understanding the problem of colony collapse disorder. There is this solution here that, that people need to be aware of how important this work is and that there is the solution out there. It's a commitment to the future and it's a commitment to nature and it's really a commitment to humanity. We cannot survive without the honeybees.